Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our continuing series of going through the alphabet, giving our top 10 songs per letter. This time it's our fourth installment, the letter D. Here with Glenn Kellaway from the basement. Glenn, enjoying the series so far. We're getting some nice feedback. And uh, another challenge, always a challenge because you're going to leave some quality music out. But so what? We're, we're doing favorites and yeah, we'll see how we do. Yep. What do you think? For, damn one? it, I left that one out. Yeah, it's going to happen. I, yeah. I'm not going to get to it yet, but there were actually four Beatles D songs. Same thing. I got, and I had I, to make the choice. I know. I know. I got four we'll, as well. Yeah, we'll see what happens when we get to it. But anyway, yeah. Glenn's going to start off doing his 10 through 8. I'll do the same, and then we'll work our way to the top. Okay, 10 through 8. This wasn't as challenging as the bees for some reason. No. For me. Right. I have like a couple that I left off that I don't really care that I left them off. So uh, I am going to start with one of my favorite David Bowie albums. This is one I actually loved when it came out in the late 70s, I think it was. Maybe uh, it was Diamond Dogs, the title song. There you go. Great yeah. rocker. Diamond Dogs, Mick Ronson on guitar. Number 10. That's uh, that's my number 10. They call me the Diamond Dogs. Uh, number nine. We go back to John Prine. Put a smile on Sam St. John's face. The poignant song Donald and Lydia off oh, nice debut album. It. Yeah. What a great song. Just a, you know, a sad song about two lonely people who don't know each other and they're living their lives. Uh, Donald's in the barracks at a uh, sleeping by himself. And uh, Lydia's uh, an overweight girl in her room dreaming of finding some happiness. And I saw John Prine once and he said the song is actually about masturbation. <laughs> so. When you think about it, <laughs> it probably is <laughs> in, a, in a sad way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and my number 10, 9, 8. Number 8. I'm going with just the catchiest tune in the world. One of the great freaking pop songs of all time from the Monkees, Daydream Believer. Yeah. Oh, man, I could sing along with that song all day. I think it's fantastic. Infectious pop, it is. Infectious pop. Very good. I love Donald and Lydia, too. I, I missed it somehow, but that's a great, great song. I love the songwriting. All right. My number 10 is title track. This is actually a compilation. Joan Baez, Diamonds and Rust. Oh, that's a great song about Bob Dylan. About Bob Dylan and where are you calling from? A, a booth in the Midwest. I love her voice and the... The words reminiscing about their relationship and awesome stuff. That is probably my favorite Joan Baez song. Me too. I know somebody, some hard rock band did it later, but I, I love the original. Well, really, that, that was actually a pretty good album from her. It was. I, that, the album was actually called Diamonds and Dust, if I remember correctly. Yeah, great one. Great number, pick. What is next? Oh, yeah, number nine. Dixie Chicken by the and Little Feet. Oh, but little feet, little feet. Damn! From, see, there's one I would have picked. Dixie Chicken, uh, sort of that southern boogie kind of oh. vibe to it. Fantastic band and great song, I think. Yeah, you'll be my Tennessee lamb. <laughs> and we'll walk together in Dixie Land. <laughs> right, great song. Oh yeah. man, see, that would have been my top ten. That would have been a top ten song. I got a damn it already. All right, one damn it, folks. One. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, number eight from the first album, Doctor My Eyes. Thought about that one. Jackson Brown. He got he made the cut. I put him at number eight. This is a single for him. It did get him on the charts and off this uh debut album, which is really a strong album. Yeah. All right, you're up. It's funny that song. Um, it's got kind of a weird little piano. Yeah. Uh, the the one note kind of is just bounces out of time kind of in it and i saw an interview with him one time and he said the piano that he wrote the song on had this one sticky key and when he was writing the song it kept going da -da 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 -da, like the way the song goes and if you hear it there's just that one it just kind of throws the beat off just a, a touch wow. 
and uh, he left it in because he liked it uh, while he was writing the song. So cool, so, kind of cool. It's a great tune. Okay, number seven. I'm going with another more infectious pop. Another one of my favorite songs of all time on the pop charts in the '60s, "Love and Spoonfuls." Do you believe in magic? Yeah, I thought about that too. Good one. I love this band. Yeah, yeah, amazing. What a great song that is. We we're just it's talking about Val too. Talk about another hit factory. This this yeah. this band, like they were like Credence in a way, like just yep. pounding out the hits. Okay, that's number seven. Yes. Number six, I'm going with Tom Waits. Now, I like his version better than Rod Stewart's. Rod Stewart did a great version of it, though. It's Downtown Train. Yeah. Off of Rain Dogs. Well, Two Tom great Waits. versions. That's They're Tom. both great. It's a fantastic rap album. And I always love that story of Tom Wait, uh, Rod Stewart and Bob Seger both recording Downtown Train at the same time. Yeah. And they kind of knew they were doing it, and Rod got his out first, and, and, and Bob just... I don't think he's ever released his. He shelved it. Yeah. yeah. Shelved it. Yeah. But uh, what a what a great track that is. Number six. I'm going with a deep cut. Here we go. Speaking of Rod Stewart, Rod Stewart and the Faces. They're probably their best album. Not as good as a wink to a blind horse. Yep. Uh, I believe it's Ronnie Lane's song. It's called Debris. Well, I left you on the debris. I don't know if you know that song. It's a really. I cool don't know song. the song. Oh, it's fantastic! It's my but. favorite Faces song and uh, top probably twenty-five song of all time for me. I just love it. Wow! Yeah, high praise. Debris. Nice. It's debris, but they say he sings it. He says debris. So. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Do I have now, more? That's it. That's it. That was uh, seven. Six and five, right? Okay. Uh, nine, my number seven from Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player, Elton John, Daniel. Oh, yeah. Great lead off track, a nice ballad, lovely song. Uh, Bernie Cochran, <laughs> song, songwriter, great stuff. Number six, title track, Darkness on the Edge of Town. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Love it. I love this whole album, and it closes the album. Bruce Springsteen, 1978. Good stuff there. And my number five, pop, power pop, Bad Finger from Straight Up, Day After Day. Great song. I love the song. George Harrison produced it and plays the slide guitar on it. Fantastic. That's a great song. There, yeah. we just You just made Steve happy. He's That's a big bad you, guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, Darkness on the Edge of Town. Best Springsteen album. Is that your I'm favorite or no? That's my number two after Born to Run. They're they're neck and neck. Okay. Yeah. That's what I really like. I listened to I heard Born to Run. That's really the first time I heard Springsteen album was Born to Run. My cousin had it. And I went, that's pretty good, but I didn't go out and buy it or anything. Then when Darkness is on the edge of town, I still remember when it was released and running going to the store and going, I gotta buy this. And I bought yeah. it. And just went, oh my god, that's every that's song's great. great. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> Come on. It's freaking cold, man. Okay. Uh, number four for me. Darkness on the Edge of Town. Love it. Yeah. Nice. Kismet. Yeah. Number three. Neil Young. Down by the river. Yeah, that was on my short list. Yep. I missed Cowgirl in the Sand last week. I ain't missing Down by the <laughs> River. What a great song that is, man. The guitar is just yeah. freaking awesome. Love it. All time classic. Yeah. And number two. This is my Beatle one. I had four Beatles songs to choose from. I won't mention the other three because we'll talk about them at the end. Okay. I ended up caving and going with the big one. I, I, I had to. The other, there's, I might have liked one of them more, but I just can't, I just can't uh, not pick something from, yeah, Sergeant Pepper and Day in the Life is just like, I mean, it's the classic Beatles song with the composition, Paul and John working together with the two different parts and the, and just amazing, amazing song. 
Yeah, it's hard to <laughs> overlook that one for sure. Oh, excuse me. Uh, number four for me. Pop song, Creedence Clearwater Revival off of Willie and the Poor Boys, Down on the Corner. Another one of their number twos. They never had a number one billboard song. They had like six number twos, I believe. This is one of them. Another infectious kind of clap your hands, tap your foot. Yeah, we got a lot of pop songs today. The, the charts. Uh, I know. The charts. Number three. Another title track. Desperado by the Eagles. Oh, yeah. Wonderful See, vocal know, here. Mr. That's Henry. my favorite Eagles album. And I would have I, I was considering taking the the last Desperado at the end, the Desperado reprise. Yeah. That's my favorite part of that when they okay. kind of do all the dueling everything all together. That's that's uh yeah, what a great track. And number two, Steely Dan, Deacon Blues. Oh off of Asia. Now they had a couple D songs like Dirty Work. And do it again, which I overlooked, and I went with Deacon Blues. I, it's my favorite Steely Dan song. So there it is. Try and find that CD. I've been looking. For, I I had a an audio file version of it, and when I sold my Super Audio CD player, the guy wanted to buy it off me, and I sold him the disc. And I have not been able to replace it on CD since. Really? Huh. Yeah, and it's my favorite Steely Dan album. Me too. Yeah. I can't, I can't find it. I could order the vinyl, but I wouldn't want it on CD. Yeah. Okay, we're down to number one with the drum yep. roll. This was drum a no-brainer for me. As soon as you said the letter D, wrote this song down immediately. Desolation Row. Oh, I knew it. Yep. The last song on uh, Highway 61 Revisited. Arguably between, it's kind of 1A and 1B between Visions of Johanna and Desolation Row, my two favorite Dylan songs. Yeah, and uh, just the imagery, and uh, I don't know what the hell he's going on about, but it sounds so freaking good. And at the end, there's this great harmonica solo, and oh, brilliant, brilliant, yeah. well, undeniably that's... great. It's just not didn't crack my favorite list, but one of his best. Uh, my number one is your number two, A Day in the Life off Sergeant Pepper. It's hard to. Like it's hard not to, like you said, the blending of the two styles of music and becoming one great song. That whole I read the news today, I'm just fantastic. Uh, woke up, got out of bed, you know, it goes on and on. Yeah. Uh, with the gong. Yeah, it's just the masterpiece piece of music, really. It is. So it had to be my number one. And Glenn and I will talk about the Beatles D songs that we overlooked. Uh, what did you have? I had, a, I had three of them. Oh, I actually. have Don't Let Me Down, which is really my favorite of all the four. I did, not that lyrically it's so brilliant or anything, but John's vocal performance is just so friggin' amazing to me on that song. It just rips his guts out on it. Day Tripper. Yep. And Drive My Car. Yep. And I have Dear Prudence. Dear Prudence was another one. Yep. Drive My Car and Day Tripper were the other, yeah. so. How do you choose between those four? I mean, that's amazing. But they in the I light. Know. I know. Yeah. So. Yeah. There it yeah. is. Wow. That was pretty good. Did you have any ones that you left off that you were? Yeah, uh, a, ton, a ton. Let me just run through them real quick. I don't want to steal people's thunder who are watching this. I want to contribute. But I had a few such as. Don't let me be misunderstood by the animals. Oh, I thought about that, too. Uh, well, obvious one, Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. I'll bet you that'll um, make a lot of people's lists. Yeah, I think so. Dance to the Music by Sly and the Family Stone. I thought about that one, too, because I'm a huge Sly fan. I had the uh, Do You Believe in Magic, the one you picked. Uh, you know, the song I really like from Chicago was Dialogue. You know, Dialogue. Oh, yeah. Two guys talking back and forth. It's really good with yeah. Terry Kath and uh, Peter Cetera. Yeah. Domino by Fat uh, by Van Morrison. Oh, I forgot about that one. So there, there's some, there's more, but I'll leave them for the other folks too. I want to throw in Dead Flowers from uh, Dead Sticky Flowers. Stone. I had that down. Yeah, that was that was a consideration for me, and another one off the wall. But it, another one of those, like I last week, I picked Ballad of Jed Clampett and the beat when we did the bees. Yeah, uh, I was considering putting dueling banjos in because that was another song that kind of 
brought the that's, banjo into mainstream uh, from the, that classic scene for, within Deliverance and yeah, that was one huge. of my favorite movies of all time too. So that was on the radio all the time back in '72. You know, I know. So that that could have been on it, on it too. That that was uh, that was considered. The other one I had was uh, "Don't Do Me Like That" by Tom Petty, but didn't put it on the list. I was trying to think of a Tom Petty song. Don't do me like that. Yeah. From wow. uh, Dan the Torpedoes. Awesome. Wow. But that was a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe to Glenn Kellaway from The Basement and also Please. his secondary channel, Bluegrass Channel. What? There'll be links to that. Bluegrass from The Basement. Thank you. Plug both of those. Glenn, awesome job. Thanks for joining me on this. We'll do E next time. So The E's on Friday. Leave some yeah. comments. Give us a thumbs up. And definitely put your favorite D songs in the uh, description below. Take care, everybody. We'll see you. Yeah. Thanks, Bye. everyone.